What is up guys and welcome to the Pottery Studio. So we just got back from, where were we? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. We just got back from Puerto Rico. <laughs> it's so crazy. And I took a ton of footage and I interviewed a bunch of artists, saw a ton of pottery. It was so great. And I can't wait to share the whole trip with you guys. But we're back in the studio and we're doing some glazing for our studio. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> We're doing some glazing for our next restock, which is February 12th. So yeah. all these pots are gonna be in the next restock, February 12th at 6 p.m. The, I've been glazing, I got basically a layer on all the pots so far. So like I have sandstone on this, and then I'm gonna put Aurora Green on top, and then Norse Blue. Uh, and I'm just gonna show you guys exactly what I'm doing. Good? Okay, should we take them around and show them what we're doing? I got, this is gonna be black and then green and then buttercream for uh, Northern Lights. This is gonna be Canyon Skies, so that's brown, and then it'll get two more glazes on top, matte white and buttercream. That's gonna be Lava Rock over, or Aurora Green over Lava Rock. We got some Raspberry Mist, uh, and that is about it for now. We're gonna glaze a few of these marbled pots to see how those work out, because that's kind of a new color. We're gonna glaze some of those plates. So I'll show you guys a few clips, and then we'll load the kiln, and then we'll be back. Yep. Unload the kiln. Yeah. Yep. Over time. Oh, yeah. All right, I got my helper in here today with me, helping me with glazing. Mm -hmm. What glazes it's, do you? What glazes did you pick out? What glaze did you want to do today? It's Rory. Yeah, this is Rory. All right, so this kiln is totally cool and we are ready to unload it. As you can see, so the top shelf, a lot of this stuff is a testing that I'm doing for this whole dinnerware set. So I have this whole dinnerware set underneath there that I'm trying to get this blue and white glaze to work for my sister. So that is what all this is. Testing for that because I've had issues with pinholes with that glaze in the past and I think I figured it out. So I thinned out the blue glaze uh, this is a new alabaster, thin that out. So everything just seemed like it was a little too thick maybe. This is just plain blue surf. So these are all just testers for that, basically. Uh, and then these are just like little bowls that I threw off the hump um, that we use a ton of these in my house. So definitely thinking about adding some of these to a restock at some point. Just a reminder, all this stuff, not that stuff that I just took out, but all this rest of the stuff in here, actually not these plates either. So mostly just the stuff that's in the bottom parts, that'll be up for sale uh, this Sunday, February 12th, February 12th, restock. So these are plates for the coffee shop to use. So they have a really thick lip, uh, breakfast sandwiches, muffins. We're adding quiche. Doing quite a bit of work to the coffee shops. If you're interested, I started a Mocha Monkey YouTube channel. So if you wanna go follow the Mocha Monkey YouTube channel, I'm making more videos for the coffee shop. It's not gonna be like this YouTube channel. It's gonna be mostly for our staff. But it, if you're interested in coffee shop things, go check it out. More plates. So this is sandstone, Aurora green, actually green tea, and then with a sprayed of Norse blue. Kinda cool, kinda beachy vibe. Kinda just was trying it out. I didn't know exactly how it was gonna look, but. Kinda had a good idea. Okay, sweet. This is exciting. This is exciting. I think that maybe that's why people like watching these kiln lighting videos. Cause they just love seeing me get super excited. And it's true, I get super excited. Every time. Every time I open a kiln, I get excited. More plates. Cause there's always something to get excited about. 
I'm already excited that I got that blue to work. Thank goodness, geez, I've been trying that for like a while now. I decided the next kiln unloading what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna film how I glazed everything and then while I'll unload it, I'll like revert back to clips. That's gonna be a fun one. Roar green over lab rock. Sweet, love it. These are like little espresso cups. Not espresso, they're probably like six to eight ounces. I just love little mugs like that. Um, here was a some marbled. These are gonna be marbled tumblers. They fit in your hand really nicely. You can hang on to like where that ridge is. I haven't really done tumblers in this shape before, but cool, I like it. Gray, it's mostly like brownish grayish. Ah, uh, and then, those are cool. So these, these will be headed to the coffee shop. Wow, nice, that looks beautiful. Roar green over sandstone with a little Norse blue in there too. Love it. Wow, that's really cool. We're good form right now. Okay, so then this was another tester for that blue. Nice, I like it. This is blue that's sprayed on. I thought my theory was maybe I'd get less pinholes if I spray it, and I think I do. Wow, that's really nice. What do you think? What do you think of that? More plates, three more plates. Whoa! Did not really expect that to look like this. It's kind of Valentine's Day-ish. I like it, I kind of like it. I was kind of undecided about that one. And the other one, whoa, that's funky. The, oh, this one, this one I, I, while the glaze was wet, I took something and went like this, just to kind of see, kind of get this like drippy effect. Kind of like it. I'll put that one up for sale. That's one of a kind, I've never done something like that before. Oh, all right, and then we have a bunch of my classic glaze Indian skies, which, ooh, that looks kind of different actually. I wonder if the white carved. I wonder if that buttercream is kind of thick. Ooh, that's nice. That one's really nice. Sweet. Yeah, I think I need to thin out that buttercream. I didn't quite want it to drip that much. But there's some Minnesota mugs headed to the coffee shops. Nice, there's some carved Minnesotas right there. That looks nice. Nice, those carved ones always turn out really nice and they're so light. Whew, they're light. Carved. And the other style, carving. Nice, that looks good. Nice. Bowl, that pink and turquoise, love it. And then two more carved Norse blue ones. Couple more Moko Monkey logo mugs in the brown. All right, here was a little tester. Interesting. So I just put a piece of tape there to like expose some of the clay. Not a huge fan, don't love it. I don't love everything. You can never say I don't, I don't ever need to do that again. Ah, uh, all right. Woo, there's Northern Lights with red. That is a sweet glaze combination. Wow. Everything's a little thick. I don't need to go any thicker. It's just about perfect though, right? All right, got a couple of these. Thought these would be good Valentine's theme. Nice. It's always a popular glaze combination. All right, and then here, so this was the ones that I did a roar green over sandstone and I like kind of sprayed the Norse blue. Gives it kind of a cool little like dripping effect. Not so bad. This one has a little more sandstone exposed. Nice, those are big, big spiral mugs. Nice, great kiln. Everything turned out pretty good. Only a few little issues. Finally figured out that blue glaze so I can Glaze that whole dinnerware set in here. Sweet! The other stuff going on in the studio today, just threw a bunch of bowls. Um, big bowls, littler bowls. Glazed a bunch. Got a ton of editing to do. I, I, I told you already, like all that clips I took from, or all the footage I took from Puerto Rico. Got to uh, edit all that. <laughs> no shortage of things to do. And I started a YouTube channel for the coffee shop, Mocha Monkey. So I'll put the link in the description below if you wanna go check out my other YouTube channel all about coffee shop stuff. All right, peace out. See you guys in the next video. Here it is. Hanging out in the studio. Guys in slowly. Here it is. Guys in pots.
glazing pots. Uh -huh. 